Merry Christmas! Yeah, that's right, I said it. What are you gonna do about it, atheists? Christmas carols are an integral part of creating the Christmas atmosphere. Okay, yes, I agree, it's annoying when radio stations play Christmas music directly after Halloween, but when December finally rolls around and Michael Buble emerges from his cave, magic fills the air. And if you work in retail, you've probably already listened to every single Christmas song ever created. After many hours of research, I have found that there's two types of Christmas music. On one side, you have songs about Santa Claus, and on the other side, you have songs about... Jesus. Isn't it funny that Santa is an anagram for Satan? Just something to think about. Christmas is easily the most sung about holiday. Halloween isn't even in a close second, but it's also the most diverse genre of music out there. You have songs like Away in a Manger and Silent Night that can put anyone to sleep, but under the same umbrella, you have Santa Baby and Christmas Don't Be Late by Alvin and the Chipmunks. I love Christmas carols, okay? It's one of the few good things left in this world that brings a smile to my face. But now I want to talk about the Christmas carols that don't make a lot of sense. Starting with the song Silent Night. Okay, sure, I've never given birth before, but I don't know if all is calm, all is bright is a good way to describe the process of childbirth. I get that it was Jesus and he's perfect, okay? But he's still a baby. Mary still had to go into labor. I don't know, I see all these nativity scenes with Jesus being the center of attention and Mary just off to the side with everyone else. But she just gave birth, you guys. Someone needs to build Mary her own manger to lay down in. Also, sleep in heavenly peace? Yeah, you're not gonna do that ever again. So the song Last Christmas is about when Taylor Swift gave someone her heart for Christmas, but then on December 26th they re-gifted it to someone else, so then the very next year she gave it to someone special. I don't know what the moral of that song is, but it could have been about any holiday. They just happened to break up the day after Christmas. Last Earth Day I gave you my heart. See, that still works. Walking into Winter Wonderland? I have a question. Who is Parson Brown? Why is the first thing he says when he comes to life, hey, uh, are you kids married? No, man. But you can do the job when you're in town, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, Parson is a priest. He was asking, are you married? Because I'm a priest. I can marry you two. That's my job. Ah. Carol of the Bells? Now I love this song, but honestly, I don't see how this counts as Christmas music. Have a holly jolly Christmas? What do you mean by kiss her once for me? Are you cheating on me? Baby, it's cold outside. Okay, now this one is extremely problematic. Why don't they just put a coat on? All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth, a hippopotamus, and you! I would not want to meet the person who made this Christmas list. Just saying. I'm getting nothing for Christmas. How did I not know about this song until just now? All right, how many Christmas songs can say they got a movie based off of them? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Yeah, yeah, it's classic. Frosty the Snowman? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, good choice. Uh, The Little Drummer Boy got a movie? Okay, fine, yeah, I'll count that. I think you're all missing the real classical Christmas song. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. In the song, it's canon that Grandma died, but at least in the movie, Grandma lived. She just got kidnapped by Santa because he was trying to hide the evidence. You know, no witnesses. I hope they don't make a Baby It's Cold Outside movie. Just an hour and a half of people not putting on jackets. Anyways, I have to keep this video extremely short if I want to get it out by Christmas. I hope you all have a good holiday, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, you're missing out on some great carols and questionable morals. Thanks for watching. I'm going to be taking some time off to celebrate Christmas with my family. Remember to buy that merch, and as always, wear your seatbelt.